fool us. Home of the best magicians on TV, like this one. Hi, my name is Topaz. I come from Stuttgart, Germany. I started as a manipulator. So I love doing sleight of hand magic. Later, I started to do big illusions. I try all kinds of magic. I believe you don't have to do classics of magic till the end of time. It's possible to invent your own classics. My next step was becoming a stand-up comedian. Now, you may think it's impossible to do comedy if you're German. But it is possible and I really love it to get a connection to my audience this way. Penn, Teller, you've inspired me for a long time now. This moment is my turn to show you something you may have never seen before. Joining us from Germany, say guten tag to Topaz. Hallo. I come to you from Germany, but I would like to show you a magic trick I call the Hawaiian wonder. <laughs> There's two objects which play an important part here, a glass and a paper tube. Well, Penn and Teller, if you would be here with me, I would give you these two objects for inspection and you would find them completely ordinary. I have someone with me <laughs> who will confirm this. Hi, what is your name? Hi, Mala. Mala, hi, Mala. Uh, please, is this an ordinary paper tube? Seems ordinary Just to paper. me. Yeah. And a glass. Okay, all right. Normal glass? Normal glass. <laughs> I take the glass, come to me, and I put the paper tube on top of the glass. No funny business here. And who would you trust more than a German conjurer? <laughs> Please uh, come to the center. Yeah. Now, uh, you may wonder why this is called the Hawaiian wonder. Well, it's not just because of my lay. <laughs> Don't worry, you get one too. <laughs> this is for you, your costume for tonight. But this is really all about these four real Hawaiian oranges. Please. Pick one of the oranges, any one you like. Mm, I like that one. Sure? Yes. Okay, we put it up on a little pedestal, a little higher so it feels like Hawaiian royalty. <laughs> and these are real oranges. Yeah, let me cut them open to show them to you. Real oranges, yeah, real Hawaiian oranges made in Germany. <laughs> All of them very juicy. Now, I need your help to make the Hawaiian magic happen. Please mm -hmm. come to the center. <clears throat> Watch. <laughs> you know this music? Do a, a Hawaiian dance, you know, like this. Okay. It's perfect. It's actually better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> and now, in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In your mind. Take the orange and lift it. Lift it higher and higher, exactly. And make it go to the other side, all the way and land in the glass. Uh, that's enough. <laughs> I know it's, <laughs> yes, it's still here. You may think uh, the trick has gone wrong, but actually, no one has touched your chosen orange. Is that right? But look. Now, it's empty. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Please, go to the paper tube and slowly lift it. Lift it very slowly. Slowly, 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 slowly. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Lift it. <laughs> Magically flown through the air and juiced itself in the glass. And if this is not enough juice, well, you can actually try it. Okay. Try it. Take a zip of the Hawaiian nectar. Mm. Is it nice? It's tasty. <laughs> and if it's not enough juice. Thank you. Please keep this as a gift and thank you very much for your help. Thank you. <laughs> and this is the Hawaiian one. Is 
Is uh, Germany known for its orange juice? <laughs> Not exactly. No, no. Now, uh, if you go to Hawaii, what kind of tricks would you do there? Would you, um, you know, produce like pretzels? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course. In Perfect. Lederhosen, I would produce uh, pretzels uh, and probably beer, I guess. <laughs> so what were you like as a kid, Tofas? Was this something you always knew you wanted to do? Yes. You know, I saw a, a spaghetti western where somebody was shuffling cards in a saloon, and I thought, oh my God, I have to learn this. Later, I found out that they played... Uh, the movie backwards, so cards were flying from one hand to the other. And no matter how hard I tried, I could never duplicate that. <laughs> and I understand you met your wife through magic. Exactly. Complete coincidence. We met uh, in a drama club where high school sweethearts, so Aww, to speak. That's and, so sweet. And then only later we found out that both of us like magic. Okay, Topaz, let's see if Penn and Teller figured it out. Well, Topaz, you know, um, first thing I said was that that's just the greatest act ever. I just love it. And that kind of comedy that's right there in the middle of, um, of self-parody coupled with an enjoyment of doing it is so hard to do. It can get smarmy so easy. And you were just perfect. I mean, your magic was wonderful. And uh, the comedy might have been even better. They're just both top-notch. We loved every single bit of it. And now uh, we're put in a very awkward position. And we're about to take a couple of guesses and we are sincerely hoping we're wrong because we want to give you a trophy and we want you to come to Vegas. So um, here we go. Uh, it was interesting because it was a team effort. So we'll go with mine first because mine is so uh, incredibly filthy. And that is, I think you got lucky with an orange. <laughs> And we saw the best possible case of how that could have gone. And you're the kind of guy with your smiling round head who could get lucky with an orange. That's what I'm thinking about. Now, now tell her, for his side of this day, tell her he's seen wonderful German engineering. And he thinks uh, that you are capable of uh, that that smile and that light and that low tech way involves some German engineering. So... I'm thinking to get lucky with oranges, tell her things German engineering, and we are hoping, hoping that we are wrong. So Topaz, do they know how you did your trick? I think they have a very, very <laughs> good idea, yes. Aww. Damn it, damn it, damn it, <laughs> damn. We'll see you next time. You're still gonna come over here at some point. Yes, we'll